Miles Alexander is a remarkable individual for a number of reasons. Not only is he a giant within the field of intellectual property law, but beyond that, he has been a leader for progressive change throughout our society. He has been able to mesh both uh, excellence as a lawyer, he is rated uh, internationally as one of the top uh, intellectual property attorneys uh, throughout the world. You don't have to look long at Miles' record to realize that he is regarded internationally as one of the most brilliant intellectual property lawyers. Um, and in fact, Miles has been a leader in the development of intellectual property as a distinctive area um, of the law. But beyond those contributions, Miles has always dedicated himself to making the legal profession and his community a better place, primarily through his advocacy to create a more embracing, inclusive environment for others to practice law in, and in trying to further the efforts of racial integration uh, within the society writ large. Miles was practicing diversity and inclusion back in the 1970s, the 1960s, even when he was a law student in the 1950s, um, back at times before we had terms to describe what those things are. Going back to the time when he first uh, came out of law school, uh, Miles uh, for a stint was serving in the uh, Judge Advocate General's Corps uh, back in the 1950s. And at that time, Miles was actually instrumental in helping to desegregate uh, Clovis, New Mexico. Uh, he did that by virtue of convincing the general of the Air Force base that he uh, was stationed at to issue an order outlawing any of the enlisted men, any of the uh, personnel at that base from actually going into the city and patronizing any establishment uh, that discriminated against African Americans. Just by being Miles and doing all of the things that he has done, serving not only clients but his community with empathy and compassion and zeal, um, he brings a purpose of unity um, for the betterment of our profession and for those in our profession who have a social conscience. I mean, he is, he is my hero. We wish you heartfelt congratulations. Uh, we love you. You represent us at our very best, and we thank you for all that you have done for all of us. You are my hero, and I could not be happier than to have you re receive this award from the Gate City Bar Association. I hope I can accomplish some small percentage of what you have done. Congratulations, my friend.